Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntvforex.com. Will credit markets pull stocks down or not? Analysis HTTP ntvforex.com News ID EBA 7128142022382826 p.m. Another day, another attempt at the Feb highs, and the upper knots of S&P 500 candlesticks give the daily chart a bearish look. How justified is that AR stocks about to move seriously lower in today's analysis? I'll present the outlook based on the many charts featured. NBSP SP 500 In the short run I'll start with the daily chart perspective the S&P 500 didn't make it far yesterday, and both the upswings and downswings have been rejected. The volume declined, which means that most market participants are largely sitting on the sidelines. However, this could span in a heartbeat. Will the bears be as strong so as to send the bulls packing according to the credit markets, it's a close or not so close tie I have your pick. NBSP The credit market's point of view High yield corporate bonds HYG ETF recovery fizzled out yesterday, and prices closed at new lows. Does the high volume mean the bears are getting started, or that a meaningful accumulation is underway the next few days will be telling? especially when I look at investment-grade corporate bonds LQD ETF. Please see this and many more charts at my home site. The Haven T found a bottom yet as the last five trading days in a row show. Both leading credit market ratios A high-yield corporate bonds to short-term treasuries HYG SHI and investment-grade corporate bonds to longer-dated treasuries LQD IEIA are currently pointing down. Will the investment-grade bonds find the way higher first? just as they did in May or June A and will that be enough to promptly turn around their junk counterparts the overextension of the S&P 500 black line relative to the HYG shy ratio is even more striking now. But stocks still continue to defy gravity. Will a resolution with a stock move lower or ratio S move higher follow I am leaning towards the latter, in its time that might be closer at hand than the bears think. NBSP Small Caps, Emerging Markets, and Other Clues The Russell 2000 IWM ETF is holding up quite well relative to the 500 Strong Index. No sign of profit distribution here. Neither the Emerging Markets EEM ETF are signaling danger A after outperforming since the start of July, they're taking a breather currently. The Daily Market Breadth Chart Caption says it all. The deterioration is visible and the question remains when would the bulls step in. Remember, the bullish percent index remains solidly in bullish territory making corrections likely to be bought, and stock price action hasn't shown us that it's willing to roll over in earnest though. The metal with PhD in economics dollar copper has given up this week's gains, yet yesterday's lower knot indicates that the bulls have stepped back to a degree. That increases the probability that once trading leaves this flag, they will do so with a break higher. NBSP Summary Summing Up Yesterday's S&P 500 session leaves stocks extended relative to the credit markets, and neither long-dated treasuries are signaling an immediate turnaround just yet. Much depends upon today's trading in the debt instruments, and I think that the worst of the decline there is past, and that higher prices would follow and help put a floor behind the relatively very extended S&P 500 versus HYG SHI. The same goes for the S&P 500 market breadth indicators, where I also see stabilization followed by an upswing in the advanced decline line as the more probable scenario. And that means that the bulls better approach any trading opportunities with tight trade parameters just as I did throughout many recent sessions, because the air near the Feb all-time highs is quite thin. NBSP NBSP want free follow-ups to the above article and details not available to 99% investors sign up to our free newsletter today NBSP. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real-time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors.